one momento. And then we're right back to it. Um, so first thing, first things first. A lot of us can close our eyes from where we're at right now, okay? And we can go into our kitchen, right? Every single one of us. If we're in our houses, we can close our eyes and immediately you know exactly how to get to your kitchens, okay? Water and protein. So again, as soon as, the, as soon as these cameras go down, if you can, water, have protein, have a little bit of carbs. Okay, again, always give your body that chance. Again, it's not just, it doesn't just stop when the workout stops. It, it goes all the way throughout. So again, complementing the stuff that we're doing here with eating the right way and fueling the right way. So make sure you have protein, whether it's eggs, a protein shake, something like that. All right, again, build your muscles back stronger that you just work so hard. All right, so we make that work go even further by adding that little extra strength to it. All right, so that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is I want to tell you about a conversation that I had with my dad yesterday. Um, I, made, I, made sal- I made dinner last night. I made salmon, and we were all sitting around the dinner table eating. Um, and he was talking to me about this, uh, this article that he was reading or this documentary that he was watching, something, something along those lines about the, the most dangerous jobs in the world. And you know, I'm assuming that he's gonna start talking about the, the jobs that have, that have the most risk to them. Like, the, like you know, there's a show on Discovery, like Ice Road Truckers, or the people that go and catch lobster in the ocean where the waves are like higher than a skyscraper. Like those kind of jobs, okay, give me a pit in my stomach and make me a little bit nauseous and I don't wanna do those. And again, I give kudos to the people that do because that's terrifying, that's absolutely terrifying. We start to think of all these jobs that are just, oh my God, scary. And that, again, it's, it's a lot of risk that these people take going into these jobs because there's, there's, so, much, there's so much risk involved. There's, there's so much that could go wrong in these jobs, okay? So I'm thinking, okay, those are obviously the jobs that have, you know, if you think about a higher mortality rate, a higher risk factor, it's them. And he said, he actually kind of read my mind. He's like, it's not the jobs that you would think, like the ice road truckers and the lobster. I was like, wow, it's a connection. Uh, he said, no, it's, it's the jobs that offer the least amount of movement are becoming, are slowly becoming the jobs that are, that put us at the most risk. So jobs where we're, we're sitting a lot because that sitting, it kind of starts a vicious cycle. And if, if we're not careful, all right. And cause we go from that sitting. And again, this, this was me also. So it's like the epitome of me before I started as a member at the max, I would sit from nine to five. Okay. I would have an Italian restaurant that was down the street for lunch every single day, every day. Okay. By the time I got home, I'm not kidding. By the time I got home, Okay, between cooking, eating, cleaning dinner, okay, I had zero desire, zero motivation, zero just drive to, to do anything, to move. So it became that, became into a nice spot on the couch that had an indentation of my butt in it because I would sit in it every single day. I watched the same show and conk out. And then again, same routine the next day. And one, it, one day, it's very easy to turn that into a routine. Very easy to turn that into a routine, okay? But what we're doing here now, just being able to, for 45 minutes, early in the morning at seven, open up your computer and just move your body. Again, I'm, I'm, all, and I'm always gonna say this because it's always true. I don't care if you're sprinting, I don't care if you're literally jogging for 45 minutes, okay? I'll obviously give you all the modifications, we always will, but as long as you're opening up the screen and you're ready and willing and able to move, that puts you so far ahead of a lot of other people, okay, that are getting stuck in this cycle, all right? So we're, what we're doing right here is we're breaking a very, a very easy cycle to get stuck into just by moving, just by moving, just by jog, just by that start with a nice light jog puts you so far ahead of the game, all right? And puts you out of one routine that again, we're trying to pull ourselves out of and into a different routine. And, we, and again, this doesn't just stop with these 45 minutes, all right? We take this movement and maybe we go for a walk later in the afternoon, okay? Or maybe we, try, we have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch and we try to get 10,000 steps in the course of our day aside from this class here. Little things like that, focusing on a lot of water, Little things like that are, are taking this, this habit all right, and making it into a lifestyle. And that's the goal. It's taking these 45 minutes and saying, how can I take this and let this branch out into my entire day and let it spread throughout my day? So remember, those, those very high risk jobs, those very high you know, jobs that put us at a high risk factor, it's not what you think, okay? And just like that, starting this to see 45 minutes, it's not just 45 minutes, it's not just what you think because this branches out into your entire day. All right, keep challenging yourselves, keep on moving. And remember, movement is the key. That's it. All you got to do is keep moving. And I'm proud of you guys for waking up with me and doing that every single day. I truly appreciate it. All right, so I'm, I'm going to unmute you guys real quick. I want you to bring it in. We're going to say take it to the max on three, nice and loud. Thank you guys for pushing yourselves. Put a fist in, put a paw in, put a tiny hand, whatever you want, whatever you got. I'll take it all. It's okay. It's okay, Lisa. Don't worry. All right, they're in, they're in. <laughs> Two, three, and take it to the max. Thank you guys for pushing yourselves. Way to go, seriously, start to finish. You guys did amazing today. Thank you guys, great job.